now we have to draw this diagram in AutoCAD let us start so open AutoCAD and uh, select this ISO draft and also ortho and uh, select line and uh, select here ISO right plane so by changing this with FI key so this is no ISO right so because this is in the right side so the length is 62 from here so specify any point anywhere here somewhere here and uh, so length is 62 so 60 type 62 and press enter and now height is just zoom it height is 16 here you can see so type 16 press enter next once again in this side 62 and uh, just join here directly and press F5 to go to uh, left plane now in the left side direction this is 50 so this way this is 50 so type 50 press enter and uh, height is 42 you can see here otherwise uh, so we have to draw this also so for that just uh, let's go by step by step uh, okay. so take line and uh, this is 16 here so, so draw 16 and uh, this is 6 height and next this way this is 16 this is 16 and this is 50 means so uh, this is 32 32 or 50 minus 32 means this is 18 so in this way it is 18 so type 18 press enter and once again come downwards uh, 6 and once again this way it is 16 so you can see here 16 and the height is 42 and uh, this way this is you know 20 so this is 20 means so here also it is 20 so 20 and uh, change this isoplane okay. so this is 16 you can observe here so this is 16 means here also it is 16 so type 16 press enter and uh, this is 20 we have seen and you can join here and uh, continue here suppose I am continuing from here uh, so this is 30 we have seen 30 means here also this gap is also 30 so 30 enter and uh, once again this way this is 16 so this is 16 means this is also 16 16 16 32 plus 50 62 16 plus 16 32 plus 30 62 so it is satisfied so so this way this is 16 and back 20 and this way sixteen and just you can join here and here we can join this point and this point to getting clear line and also and also you can uh, join this point and uh, this point and yes skip and uh, to get this you can use copy command one more lines so take copy this select press enter and specify a base point so at a space just click and uh, here this distance is 9 so 9 enter skip 
and to copy repeat the copy comment just press enter and uh, select this one enter specify the base point so in the space just click and uh, this way this is also 9 here so type 9 and enter just escape and uh, to draw this line vertical let us calculate the height of uh, this line so this line height will be uh, total 42 and this is 60 means uh, uh, 42 minus 16 is 26 we know so just uh, select line and change this isoplane by pressing f5 so that we will get vertical so this is the first point and this is 26 we have calculated type 26 is enter and uh, change this isoplane so this way just you can join directly here this point and uh, skip and change this isoplane yes no and select uh, and this line we are drawing here so to draw that line so up to where we can no, you don't know. So this is center point is highlighting. So don't uh, join with center point. So just extend like this, and uh, just press uh, just click here, and just skip and uh, you can trim this anyway, and uh, we'll trim afterwards. And here, uh, so we have to draw this one, this one, and uh, this one so to draw that. First of all. We will take copy of this and this to get uh, here lines. So to get uh, this line first of all uh, we will take, we will use copy. So just go for copy and uh, select the object and just press enter and uh, specify the base point at any point just click and uh, this way this is uh, we know 22. So this is 22 and this 18 means remaining will be 22. So just type 22 press enter. And to repeat the copy command and press escape to repeat the copy command just press enter and uh, select this one press enter and just specify the base point just click in the space and uh, this way this is uh, um, 22 just press enter and uh, skip so now we require this line so so this line so to draw this line we require a point here so to get this point uh, so this um, i'll draw a line like this so from the midpoint so again we know this will be in the midpoint so anyway so this is 22 this is 9 means uh, and also this will be 22 and this is 9 means so this point anyway it is in the mid and uh, midpoint and at a distance of 9 so uh, what I do means I will uh, draw a line here. So, so for that purpose, you just activate midpoint. So here, in the object snap. So midpoint should be activated, and uh, just specify this and uh, take a length of nine here. So just nine, enter, and escape. And here, just take one second line command and. Uh, Join this point and this point. So, got this, and uh, to get, uh, and we have to draw once again here also. So, just take line and just yes. So, we should get one more line here. This line we will uh, require. So, for that, once again, we will use copy command. So, for that, uh, first of all, change this ISO plane. Yes, now we will require vertical. So, I have changed the ISO plane. So just uh, select copy and uh, select this one just press enter and just click base point means click anywhere the space uh, and specify the distance here so distance will be 16 so you know 16 so from here to here 16 and uh, so just type 16 and press enter just escape Now you can remove the unwanted uh, things here. Yeah. So this is not required. So just click delete, and uh, so this whole thing will be gets deleted. So for that, just use trim. 
So just print and select the first references here. And here also we have to trim, so I told. So just press and this also we have to trim. So for that I am selecting uh, this one and this one, let us see. Oh yes, press enter and uh, yes, you can trim here and uh, trim and also trim here. So we have trimmed the extra portions. Let's skip. So we got this one if you see this line this line and uh, this line we got this one and uh, this one and this one yes we have drawn next term um, we have to draw here this line this line and here uh, uh, this line also so for that also we will follow the same procedure here and uh, so this will be this point will be in the midpoint only so the distance of 15 from this line so here a line is there so i have drawn complete line we can trim afterwards so from that uh, so in the, in the midpoint of this line we'll draw a 15 line vertical so just uh, take line and uh, so for that i told midpoint should be activated and just click here and take line of 15 so just type 15 enter and just press escape so now in just one second line command uh, so you can join this point and uh, this point and once again this point with this one and here uh, to draw this one we'll use once again copy select this one center and uh, change this isoplane yes no uh specify the base point is asking so just click anywhere here and just require that this uh, that is uh, gap will be here you can see this gap will be 20 so just type 20 no skip now uh we have to trim here once again so it is highlighting this portion so so you can directly just select this one and uh, this is also not required so select these two and just delete yes we have drawn this portion this line this line and this line so this one this one and uh, this one next uh, what's the remaining thing you can see here uh, so we have to draw one more small line here this is a uh, simple just uh, change the size of plane now take line come in and uh, see, select this point and uh, we don't know the distance so select uh, draw approximate just cross this line so this line you just cross click, click and just skip so you can trim here so take trim and uh, select the reference here press enter and uh, trim this portion yes no skip okay so now you can observe here we have drawn all the information. So this line and uh, this one, this one, here this and the uh, height, this one, this one and uh, okay, so we have drawn all the lines here and just we have to do dimension here and uh, to do dimensions just uh, type uh, here. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, go for dim align here, D M D I M A L I. So just uh, select this one and uh, this one, and just take some length and just keep. And also to continue, press enter. And uh, we have required this one and uh, this one. So just take some length and just keep. So to continue that, once again press enter. So take uh, this one and uh, this one and just. This is not required because we have given 62 and this one, this one, so this is understood. 22 and uh, to continue, let's press enter. And uh, have to give here, so just click. And to continue, just press enter. So to continue any command, just go on pressing enter, enter without escaping. So just enter and uh, 
there are continuing dimensions here and uh, so wherever you require just give the dimensions this one and uh, this one so take some and uh, so again enter and we'll give here as per the and uh, we'll give this one and here 16 is there next 30 is there next 20 is there so 20 don't give inside just give outside so so if you give like this it will come inside so take outside and just click and uh, 999 we have to give here so this gap so here a midpoint is highlighted you can give at midpoint also right click yes click and uh, once again continue so yes so just when it is highlighting the midpoint just click there you can give not only midpoint you can give anywhere uh, so that we have discussed in the previous uh, examples and uh, uh, this height we have to give 6 so continue that center so take some and length and click and uh, this 22 we have given 9 15 22 so first of all this 22 will give so here only one thing is required because both are of uh, from same reference so this is not required Anyway, if you want to give, you can give it. So, this one and uh, no, small. Just give like this. Take this one first. First, take this one and uh, in the same line, you just go and uh, just take like this so it will be highlighted. So, then on, then click. We we'll get 22. So just uh, click. And next, 9 we have to give. So just continue. So we also just take like this on this point and uh, this one okay so just uh, so you just it is command is escape so so here this one and here yes here we got So wherever you require outside at this side so you can take and uh, this 15 and this 22 will give okay press enter to continue dimensioning and uh, so it's better to change this file okay this one and uh, Yes, when you get like this, just click to get dimensions and uh, take some and just click. And uh, suppose if you want this 22, you can give yes. So don't take here, a midpoint is highlighted. Don't take that. Yes, no, when you get this cross mark, you are observing. So, if you, are, if you want just you can off this midpoint okay now you see here yes you're observing cross point so take there and just click and uh, wherever you require location just take there and just click no don't require here 
can try also yes here you can just click yes and uh, what else we have to give almost every dimension we have given can observe here 18, 18, 22, 16, 22, 9, 6, 18, 50 is not given, so let's give 50, from here to here 50 is not given, take a profit and then it's clean, drag if you require, yes, Next, uh, so we have given all the dimensions, uh, but uh, these dimensions are not coinciding with the uh, SO lines of this diagram. So for that, we'll type, you know, we merit command. No, the merit is the first one. We'll go for oblique and uh, select so. Uh, whichever uh, are similar means uh, if you see this 16 18 22 50 16 16 all are like similar means or all are vertical so select all those dimensions and make them vertical so we know vertical means 90 degrees and make so this is also vertical this 22 you can see this 22 okay so that is also you can select and uh, whichever vertical only those are verticals so just also basically after selecting just press enter and uh, give the angle as 90 degrees so just type 90 and press enter yes and next uh, so you just press enter and go for oblique and uh, So this one and uh, were similar here. This fifteen also similar thing here. Okay and uh, yes. So just press enter and uh, here give angle thirty degrees. Yes. Now. Mm, this forty two twenty two oh, is. Similar, so let's again just press enter, go for oblique this 42 and this 22, and also this 9. And also this 13 and 16 also. So both are on this uh, direction. So this direction will be uh, 150 degrees or minus 30 degrees, anything. So, you can type 150 or minus 30 anything. Suppose I am typing 150. Sorry. Uh, what is happening here? It is coming. Okay, so this 9 is not uh, in that. It is coinciding with 30. So, only that 9. So, so leave that 9 and uh, just go for this. 22, 30, 16 and 42 now just press enter type 150 yes we got and this 9 will be uh, the direction of 30 so I can just go inside with this line also just press enter and we will go by line or angle anyway so it should be coincide with uh, this one so means in select start point and here yes you got and next uh, so we have given almost everything suppose you require 50 here 50 should be add some more text only so just change this size of it see if I Sorry, 
skip skip so anyway okay we have made that uh, middle Here. select and drag the dual gate uh, and this 20 we have not done uh, so again uh, we made it oblique and select this dimension press enter so this should be the direction of uh, this means this is 30 so type angle 30 yes so almost all uh, we have given every dimension you can observe here and all dimensions are coinciding with this one and uh, suppose okay it's good only if you want this uh, 22 should be in the middle okay so here first of all uh, select this one and uh, change the size of plane clear we will get uh, perfectly so sorry uh, uh, this f5 we have to press no just select here and uh, no we can make 22 in the middle yes I'm sorry yes so like that we have done uh, this 50 also like that only so select the appropriate isoplane and uh, drag that one okay anyway uh, and suppose we if you require the line like this to give this uh, 15 just take line command and just extend that's all and uh, extend it to this last point and uh, just press skip and uh, so wherever you require suppose here also if you require just take line and uh, from start from here and uh, up to this last point yes so that you can just indicate like shown in this diagram so so we have uh, no six is left over here so once again just type image Go for oblique, obliquing is select here also. Select this one and uh, angle will be 150. Yes. So we have given all the dimensions you can observe here 30, 30, and uh, 20, 15, 22, 9, and 42. 16, 6, uh, 62, 18, here 50, 16, 6. Uh, so we have given all dimensions and all are uh, coinciding with this uh, line iso lines of this diagram. So this is a way to draw this diagram, iso diagram, and give the dimensions in the isometric view. So for more videos, please subscribe and activate bell symbol. Thanks for watching.